in the winter months, the uh, stream flow drops quite a bit in the Yukon River. And so water in the lakes is, is withdrawn. So the lakes, and that's actually a natural cycle. The lakes go down in the winter and they fill back up in the summer. So that water, um, that natural resource is, is used to make, to make electricity for us. The, um, the, the lakes have been regulated for a long time since the dam is, well, even before the, the dam here, Whitehorse was built. And so it's really about looking at how to um, make the most of that existing natural resource. So it's water that's flowing down the river already and through the lakes. And so how can we use it as wisely as possible? My name is Forrest Pearson. I'm a geological engineer with uh, AECOM here in Whitehorse, Yukon. I'm the project manager um, for, for the consulting assignment on this, on this work. And so I lead the team of uh, engineers and scientists that are, that are studying the project. Um, both uh, in the design and conceptualization of the project um, concept, as well as all the environmental and socioeconomic studies that, that feed into that. In the winter, there's not enough water. And so if we can store a little bit of that water uh, into the winter, and it's just like, uh, you know, like any of us getting ready for the winter, you know, we, we save up our resources for, for the, uh, the long cold months. And so it's the same with the water. I mean, really, that's what we've been looking at for a couple of years now, and, and it's, uh, the effects are very subtle because it's already, uh, we're talking about managing water levels within a natural range. And, uh, and so it's nothing like, you know, it would be a lot easier if it was a big project and, you know, there was a lot of flooding because then the effects are really clear. Um, this isn't that. It's about optimizing and, and, and uh, using, you know, existing resources, you know, as, as wisely as we can. And so the effects become very subtle, especially when there's already a lot of, natural effects going on or existing conditions. You know, um, we live in a dynamic landscape uh, in, the, in the north here. Things are changing all the time. Um, and so how would, you know, a subtle change to water levels in the fall interplay with all those other things that are going on? Things we're looking at are, you know, really focusing on the fall months because that's when, when we're looking at storing the water. So that's when the change is the greatest. And, um, you know, trying to tease out what those natural conditions are versus what would be potentially caused by the project. You know, living in the north is very energy intensive. There's just no way around it. It's cold, it's dark, um, and so we need energy to sustain our life up here. And right now we're pretty dependent on a lot of fossil fuel usage. Um, and I see that in the long term as a dead end. You know, we'll always have fossil fuels, but it may not be the type of thing we can afford to burn in the future. And so we need solutions, and, uh, and it's really important to me that, that we can contribute to building sustainable futures um, for ourselves and our children.